Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a very affordable drugstore makeup tutorial. This is how the look turned out. I really do like it. This is for everybody who is on a budget. You can't afford the best thing that's out on the market right now from Sephora, from Ulta, and you just want to do your makeup on a budget. I got you in this video. All these products are very affordable and I will link them all down below if you want to purchase them. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. All right guys, let's get started. So we are going to go in with the Maybelline Primer Base Blur and Pour Minimize. This is what it looks like. I really like this stuff, you guys. It makes your skin feel so silky smooth. It is a silicone texture, which not everybody likes silicones. I know I sure don't really care for silicones, but I really like this primer. Like it really does do a good job of minimizing your pores, for sure. For foundation, we're gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Stick Foundation. This is what it looks like. I have the color Fair 27N. And I think the brand ColourPop is a wonderful brand. They are very, very affordable and I love them. They have such great quality products for the price you're paying. And I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M439 brush. This is just a buffing brush. And I'm just going to buff the product into our, my face. I'm not really a big fan of using a brush to blend in my makeup, but I do feel that sometimes using a brush for stick foundations does make it a little bit easier to blend. And this foundation blends so, so good, you guys. I love it. It's so quick and easy. You always want to make sure you get up in your hairline as well so there's no, you know, you have makeup here and none here so there's no unevenness. And I always like to bring it down my neck as well. Next, we're going to go in with the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer, which this has more of like a yellow peach undertone in my opinion but this is a really 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 good concealer from the drugstore I really do like it and I'm gonna go in with a real techniques um, face brush this is what it looks like and just going to blend that under the eyes and I like to bring it up on my eyelids too, just to cancel out any veins and redness that you might see. Just so that way I look a little bit more away. And I'll put some on the bridge of my nose, whatever I have left on my brush. You can put some on your chin and on your forehead if you want. I usually don't put any on my forehead anymore because it just kind of makes my forehead look a little bit dry. So I tend to not do it anymore. Then for powder, my favorite drugstore powder is the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth. I use the color 110. And as you can see, I love it because I hit pan. That never happens for me. I always start to use something and then I get bored with it and then I move on to something else. But I continuously do go back to this and I do love it. And I'm going to just take a Morphe M438 brush. It's just like a tapered powder brush. And I'm going to set my face you can if you have dry skin you can just set where you put concealer but for me because i have oily skin i will set my whole face and i like this powder because it doesn't accentuate your fine lines or your dryness for me i have really dry under eyes and i have a lot of lines on my under eyes and i get a lot of creasing there and with this powder it doesn't tend to fall in my crease lines which I really do like, and it really does make my under eyes look very smooth, even though they're very dry. And I like to tap my powder on, just because I don't wanna disturb the foundation concealer underneath by rubbing, so usually I'll just pat it in place. And I'm gonna put some on my eyelids because my eyelids do get very, very oily, and if I don't set them, my eyeshadow will just kind of slide off throughout the night and that is not a cute look next for contour i'm gonna go in with the morphe 8l palette this is what it looks like morphe has some of the best best products morphe and ColourPop 
are my favorite brands. I just, I can't steer away from them. They, they just, they work so good. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to go in with a Wet n Wild brush, just a regular face brush, and I'm going to mix this color and this color together. And I'm not really contouring, I'm more so just going to like bronze up my face since I'm using such a big brush. This is definitely not for contouring because when you're contouring, you know, you're putting it in a specific area, whereas with this, I'm just putting it all over just to bring some color back into my face. And this palette is really good if you have fair skin. They do have, I believe, an 8H palette that's for more deeper skin tones, but this palette works really, really nice with fair skin tones. Because for me, you know, some contours or bronzers can make me look very muddy and very washed out because of how light my skin is. But this does not do this. This just brings a nice flush of color back into my skin. And for blush, I have the Milani Powder Blush in the color Romantic Rose. These are really, really good blushes from the drugstore. This is what it looks like. It's literally in the shape of a rose. It's so, so pretty. And I'm going to apply this to my cheeks. For highlight, I'm going to go in with the NYX Born to Glow highlighter. I believe Nikita Dragon did this collab with NYX. This is the highlighter, and it's in the shade Stand Your Ground. It's a very, very pretty... It looks like it's white, but it's actually a gold, and it's beautiful. It does have glitter in it, so if you're not a fan of glittery highlighters, this might not be for you, but it looks gorgeous on the skin. Like it, you can really make this blinding. And I'm barely dipping my brush in. Can you guys see that? Like that is pigmentation, honey. That is pigmentation. I believe they have three other shades. I want to say in this collection, this is the lightest one. And of course I get the lighter ones because of my skin tone. But you guys, do not sleep on this. This is worth your money. And then for eyes. So I have the Crown Pro palette. I got this in the mail. And this is what it looks like. I believe this came in my BoxyCharm. And it is so, so pretty for fall. And I've only used it once, but it was really, really good quality for, you know, the price because it's so affordable. So I'm going to go in with a Morphe 573 brush. This is what it looks like. It is clean, it's just stained. And I am going to take this color right here and I'm gonna use that as my crease color. A lot of kickback up in the pan. Some of these colors you do have to build up, which I don't necessarily mind because I prefer to start very small and then add more color as I go because you can always add color but you can't take away color so if you add too much it can be a little bit harder to blend out which is not what we want. So I know some people like when you know you can dip your brush in once and go one time and you're good but for me, it doesn't really bother me if I have to go in several times just because at least that way I have more control over the shadow. Then I'm going to go in with this color. And we're just also going to put that in the crease. And then I'm going to go in with this, it looks very brown on the camera, but it's actually a plum color. And I'm going to take that on the same brush, like a plummy brown, and I'm going to put this on the outer corner. This palette is really, really, really nice for fall because it has all those brown plummy shades, which 
for me are my favorite. I am a warm toned palette person. I know not everybody is, but this palette has some really, really good color payoff for being so affordable in my opinion. And I'm just gonna bring a little bit of that color in to the crease as well. And for the lid shade, I'm going to take this color right here. It's kind of like a, um, like a dark rose gold color. And I'm going to apply it on my finger. This is what it looks like when you apply with your when you put it on your finger when you swatch it. And for these types of shadows, because it's kind of like a glitter, sort of like a foiled shadow. I don't think it's 100% a foil shadow, but it's more of just like a shimmer color. And I like to apply those with my finger. I just feel like I get the best color pile. You can apply it with a brush and you can put some Fix Plus on your brush if you want to. But for me, applying it with my finger does the job. Like look how pretty that is, you guys. That looks so, so pretty. And for the lower lash line, I'm just going to go back in with this plum color that we put on the outer corner and I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M431, which is just a pencil brush, and start by putting that on the lash line. I'm gonna go back in with the two crease colors and just use that to blend out the plum color. Just like that, and for the inner corner highlight, we're gonna take this white color here. Just put it on the inner corner and on the brow bone. And for the brows, we are going to take the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil. I have mine in the shade Taupe, and I'm first going to brush through my lashes. And for the brow gel that I'm going to use, this is the Brow Stylist Boosted Set from L'Oreal. And the wand is the tiniest thing I've ever seen. It's like it's so, so tiny. And I'm just going to apply that to my brows. And I'm going to set my face now and then I will apply my mascara. And the setting spray that I'm gonna use, this is the uh, Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray from Flower Beauty. This is for matte skin. They do have one that for if you wanna make your skin dewy. But because I have oily skin, I use this one instead. And it comes out in such a fine mist. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it's so like ultra fine. It's really, really nice. And it smells delicious. It smells so good. For mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This is Black is Black. And it is waterproof. They do have a regular version and a waterproof. The regular, Looks like this, and the waterproof is blue. And you guys, this mascara smells like cupcake batter. It smells so freaking good. I cannot get over how good this smells. I could seriously sit here and smell it all freaking day. That's how good it smells. And I don't know any mascara that smells remotely even good. So the fact that this smells good is really saying something. All right, you guys, and if you did want to apply lashes, I definitely recommend the Ardell Wispies. 
this is what these look like or the kiss lashes kiss has some really really good lashes and they're both from the drugstore you can go to your local walmart walgreens giant whatever cbs rite aid uh, to pick all of these products up except the ColourPop and morphe those you do have to order online or go to ulta for yeah so this is the completed look hope you guys like it it's a very nice fall makeup and i'm really digging this eye look for sure all right you guys that is it for today's video like i said you can pick these all these products up except morphe and ColourPop from your local walmart or cbs whatever drugstore you have near you this is a very very affordable look and you know not all of us have a lot of money some of us have budgets and you know we can't afford everything that every other beauty guru has and these are really good alternatives for you so yeah if you guys like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit your notification bell so you can be notified every time that i upload and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye